Hello my friends and welcome to Sedios Reviews. Here I have an easy SMX uh, G10 uh, gaming mouse. Is it G10 or 610? I think it's G. It looks like more like G but <laughs> I don't know now. This mouse reminds me of the Cyborg Rat or Matt Cat's Rat. Matt Cat's uh, bought the Cyborg I believe so. Yeah it is G10. It's G. Definitely G. Not the... Um, not, uh, six but let's check this out what, what, what is this okay let's just hold it in the place okay another piece and here is the mouse itself let's see what else there is uh, there's the cd oh come on guys stop with the cd i don't have a cd drive for crying out loud please stop it just put a small usb stick like i've explained this in uh, every video where they include this okay this doesn't have a print on it but I personally think that a CD costs more than a USB stick. Specifically that you even have to write the CD. So, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Here in UK you can uh, buy a small USB stick. One gigabyte, I think uh, they don't even make smaller ones anymore. One gigabyte USB stick you can buy for one pound. So, why not include that? I mean, that that's, that's almost no money. So... Um, you can't even get a bottle of coke for it. <laughs> so, but let's check the mouse out. This, ca oh, this cable looks really nice. Premium quality cable. Cold bladed. As you can see, nicely braided. Uh, this, by the way, is a magnet, if you people don't know. That eliminates the noise in the electrical noise in the cable. This is why most of the devices have this. A lot of people don't know that. They, they might think it's some kind of connector, but it's not. It's just a magnet. So... Uh, okay, this, this, this thing, the cable manager, oh, why, why do you people put this in here? You can't even take it off. I, I hate these things, yeah, I, I don't like this. Now I just broke it off, but, um, I, I don't like those. Because you're not going to be having that when you connect the mouse up. But yeah, it uh, reminds me of the Rat 7, Rat 9. Like, awfully reminds me of that. It looks so similar to that one. Uh, wait, okay, so, uh... So you can press the button if you press in here. It clicks. Are these... Oh my god, these are buttons. Uh, these are buttons, these are buttons. Holy crap, guys. So, uh, let's see if I can adjust this mouse. I believe you can. Uh, it's very awkward shape, to be honest. You can't adjust the shape, as you can see. There's something in here. But see, that's very bad thing in here. I can't even... How, how are you supposed to undo this? See, it has like this thumb screw thing. But how am I supposed to undo this? I can't put my fingers on it from any angle. So, wh what is that exactly? Uh, LED on, off. So, let's see how many buttons do we have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons. Not bad. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't adjust this thing, so it's, um, like, the shape is a copy of the rat mouse. This this bit in here is a little bit uncomfortable when I put my hand on it. And also on rat, uh, you, it was so wide that he was able to hold three fingers like this. Actually, it was supposed to be because it was, you know, more comfortable like this. But I think this one is just, I don't know, actually. Most people don't hold it like this, but I was holding the rat like this because it was really comfortable, but this one really isn't, so you have to hold it like this. It says mechanical mouse. As far as I know, uh, mice are always mechanical, but, uh, well, uh, let's try to figure out what this thing in here is. I don't know if that's just for the show or how you're supposed to. Uh, this thing in here also, it makes no sense. See this, this thing in here? You know why they put these things around the cables in here? Is that if the cable bends like this, obvious, obviously it will if you use it like all the time. And this in here is supposed to bend with the cable, but not that much. So it doesn't, you know, uh, make sharp angles on the cable and it doesn't break off from here. But if you have this bit in the metal, then it still bends from here. So this bit in here should really be in here. You see what I'm saying? I hope you understand this. It's, it is really cool looking, but uh, I already pointed out that these design errors, what they have. So now I'm going to connect this up. It's fully programmable as uh, far as I know. You can't program left click, I think that's what it said, but uh, everything else should be fully programmable. Look at that. This is actually pretty cool, guys. This is actually cool. 
because uh, sometimes if you don't use the computer some people leave the computer for like days or even a week when they go on vacation then you can just put this on top of that to you know as as a dust cover or even overnight you can leave it on because my mouse uh, has a lot of dust in between and it's really annoying to clean mice you know spe especially this one so yeah it's actually a good idea just drop this over when you're not using it so I installed the software and you can change all the colors and stuff as you can see so if we change it from a, for example uh, whoops <laughs> wrong button uh, you can change between the profiles which also changes the color of the mouse purple do I love purple <laughs> white is actually pretty cool just check this out and yes I darkened out the area on purpose so you can actually see the color effects uh, this is a really uh, nice mouse you have can uh, program you can change it uh, respiration that's the breathing mode what I had before so if you put it in here see then it breathes uh, you can also change the speed uh, 8 seconds 4 seconds that's just uh, how long it does then it's RGB flash I know what this is let's try flash <laughs> okay come on who would have their mouse what the who would have their mouse like that I don't know what it's doing now now it's going just wacky uh, right then we can have um, neon I don't know what neon is RGB fixed on what is it doing that's neon okay <laughs> but you get the idea I'm gonna put it back to standard I don't like all this flashing stuff uh, RGB effect there yeah, you can't even change it you can change the level how much it is let's put it to like 50 and if we click apply then it goes down not really <laughs> A hundred percent. Let's try again. Yeah, it does. It does change. It just camera readjusts, and then you can reprogram all the keys in here, as you can see. I know it says RGB uh, on off. RGB stands for red, green, blue. Red, green, blue on off. Please, guys, try to you know uh, put right words. It means lights on and off, which is this button in here. See at underneath. Already did show it. Uh, this also has the really good function which I absolutely love is the so-called sniper mode look at the way I'm moving the mouse and now I'm pressing it down see I'm doing the same circles with the mouse and if I press it down it goes slower I think you can change it somewhere uh, no unfortunately you can't it's called shift dpi I don't know why it's called shift dpi <laughs> this is so weird uh, and if we change it to the highest profile, uh, highest speed, which is the white one, see, it changes to back to slow. I don't know what how slow it is, but um, I think it's the slowest. And I forgot to uh, mention, it's 4000 TPI is the maximum. This is a bit of an overkill, to be honest. But uh, that's how it looks like. That's what you can do with it. I personally like, I don't know, the, this, this effect, uh, I really like it. Just... I'm gonna cover this for a second just look at that it looks freaking awesome like an alien or something <laughs> and yeah you can reprogram all the buttons but uh, left click in here everything else is reprogrammable through this uh, program in here very simple to use and that's it uh, mouse speed oh yeah we have advanced settings in here guys scrolling speed see we can change the scrolling speed double click speed can change the mouse speed in here then it's macro settings so you can record a macro in here and then you can put it on the buttons I'm not gonna go through that because every macro setting is the same and yeah, we have uh, advanced and this one so you can change all the keys you can reprogram all the keys so it's it's really good gaming mouse it's actually one of the best mice I've seen it's very actually um, it's very comfortable and these keys in here they really come in handy especially in gaming you have one two three and then you have one two three in here it's really freaking handy guys you have like six extra keys it's really good for example in rainbow six siege i would use these buttons for gadgets gadgets one gadget two maybe throw drone or something like this so definitely good and this light in here it tells you which profile it has I am currently using an MMO gaming mouse so I'm probably not going to use this as my primary mouse but uh, it does have really good options 
my mouse has uh, 12 extra buttons in here and I'm so used to them already so I can just click 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 <laughs> and they also have different profiles but yeah if you're uh, considering this mouse then definitely this is a really good mouse guys I absolutely recommend this this is one of the best mice I've seen they tried to copy this uh, cyborg rat but I think this is actually better because this is metal I don't think that's plastic it is actually it is plastic but it's like you know heavy plastic only thing it doesn't have is the weights that's the only problem uh, with this mouse and I don't know what this thing in here is I think this 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 thing in here is just for the visuals and yeah, that's just for the visuals don't think it actually does anything but yeah it looks cool guys and it really is cool look at the light effects it's just so awesome <laughs> but well I will see you next time